What's up guys, welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video again, cross-format, um, cross-master rule duels, right? This was, um, um, like a match we, um, uh, a match that was planned last week, but then Konami decided to drop, like, multiple, uh, new support, like the rockets, um, etc. So that's already over, like, a week, but, um, now it's finally time to upload it, right? A masterpiece, Zueltru Draco Zeus, that's, uh, the more correct name for this particular deck, as you see here. It's running a little over or more true Dracos so rather than just calling it Masterpiece Zoo. Uh, post this match, post all these duels, I felt that personally I like just Masterpiece Zoo a bit better, a bit more. Just spam your, uh, or you know, f f slap in your uh, multiple masterpiece in your zoo deck, and then <laughs> that's basically it, right? Uh, but yeah, there are multiple options of uh, running true Draco or Masterpiece Zoo. Anyway, so playtesting or playing against the master are currently one of the best decks in today's format, Link Format Master Rule 4, and that's Salomon Great. Dropping the Maxi for us TCG players, can I say it's nostalgic? <laughs> I don't think it's nostalgic, but it's definitely up there or can be up there as in one of the most BS cards ever made. Maybe necessary evils. Anyway. Um, I personally playing the, the true Draco deck here, true Draco Zoo DX, uh, Masterpiece Zeus, or uh, yeah, however you want to pronounce it right, it's, uh, I'm rusty, <laughs> it has been like a huge, uh, or a big while last that I played um, uh, this deck, you know, like 2017, right, playtesting um, on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, um. anyway, so go for Abyss Dweller as well, having the Trident on my side of the field, and of course, Knuckles Dynamite, uh, Knuckles I believe the name is, you know, a fighter to uh, get that uh, trap search right so i'm pretty much set to go and also of course the abyss dweller being very important against something like Solomon great especially with that drancia slash dryadent um, pop right that can be very important so the field spell is fine you can just go for the reincarnation link summon that's all good not really a big threat and this was so op using the uh, true draco diagram to pop your zodiac ram ram in your hand ram ram triggers special summoning something from your graveyard and of course you had a gazillion options going for another dryadent or basically give you an extra monster to tribute summon for masterpiece whatever make it unaffected by monster effects and traps or spells whatever right um going for the second dry and this should be game, yeah. Also, because of Viper, the attached Viper again, very solid against something like Solomon Grates, banish the you know, banish the opponent's monsters, uh, the opponent's monster that uh, that uh, attacks or well, battles my uh, Zodiac that has the Viper attached. So, game number two, um, well, another duel, right? Here, uh, Maxi again could have been very, very sweet getting those extra draws, but nope. The Ash Blossom says no, that's a problem right then, you know, it's in, in multiple cross balance cup videos we have seen how important uh, of a hand trap um, Ash Blossom is, especially against the older decks that don't have access to Ash Blossom, most of the time. Just, uh, just a blowout against those older decks. So there it is again. Another Ash Blossom on his part. And I have to activate Zodiac Barrage without getting any extra value out of it. Like attaching it to a Zodiac Exceed, but... Nope. Uh, too many negations, too many options here for the opponent, and there is nothing I can do about that. He's going for Heat Leo, bouncing back a couple of cards, yeah. That's just uh, the problem, right? Okay, activating Apocalypse and, um, what's it called? Apocalypse and True King's Return. Indeed, uh, return will trigger, try to, yeah, try to destroy something, but um, yeah, whatever, right? It's not going to matter too much. Eventually, he just has enough monsters, right, to attack for a game. This should be game, uh, or isn't. No, it's not game. I, I'm not really sure if he was able to attack for a game. I'm not really sure, but um, it's not going to matter. The Raggeki top deck is cute, but um, yeah, just by banishing failings from the graveyard definitely helps against something like Rageki. Again, going second. Um, this is fine. My opening hand is, uh, well, it's decent. Uh, opening Zodiac Barrage. No Zodiac, though. I definitely, well, if I draw my, at least if my sixth card is any Zodiac, my hand is definitely very solid. Rageki can be important to force out that face down roar. 
Um, so yeah, I can get my place go through, right? It's drawing into fighter. Fighter is nice. Using the field spell, I guess. Field spell forces out the roar. Um, keeping the Rageki. Yeah, Rageki is just going to get... Well, he's just going to banish failings, right? Because of Rageki. Uh, makes sense, I guess. Um, so another diagram definitely helps. Using Heritage, I believe the name is, of uh, getting, I think, a draw first. And then tribute it away to get fighter on the field. And yep, there is the delicious Zodiac engine at this... Well, no, no, no. Not at its prime, since this was only possible with um, only two reds, indeed, only two Zodiac red peers. There is a Thorough Blade, potentially giving me the extra draw and setting up the Viper in my graveyard for the potential Tiger Mortar equip. Yep, equipping it. Um, there is the Dryland again, and yeah, my hand is fantastic, right? Abyss Dweller is uh, going to prevent the Veilings from getting or from using its effect, banishing itself, and um, this should be game. No, it's not game. Sitting at 700, I guess, it's fine. Using the Dweller's effect, not give my opponent the uh, options, or yeah, the option to use the graveyard effect. But this is definitely a very good match. Going, well, definitely going, like, back and forth. Uh, cards like Ash Blossom, uh, cards like Maxi are very important, of course. They have been very important throughout the history of this game in matchups. Uh, in decks, right, hence why they are superb hand traps. One of the best hand traps ever in this game, but just part of the game. But, uh, yeah, going second, going first, Zodiac, two Draco Zodiacs can do both, right? Although the problem is uh, battling it out against, first of all, hand traps, if I go first, and second, battle battling it out against, first of all, hand traps, and then the potential phase down, Roar and or Rage. Um, so anyway, going for Broad Bull, potentially you're trying to get another Surge, getting Failor, that's fine, Tiger Mortar will equip something, I think, yeah, um, the Red Pier indeed, Special Summon the last and second copy, and then go for Desires, hit another Field Spell Surge, that's fine, getting an extra Surge, and Bao Baboon, ah, yeah, right, I banished one Bao Baboon here, face down due to Desires, so a bit unfortunate, but the Bao Baboon is one of those tacky cards here in this build, giving the option to go for something like Invoker, Exaber Invoker, who remembers that, right? Banned in the TCG, searching um, Zodiac from your deck, right? Opening up those extra plays. Um, so my field is, is not really sure if I had any other uh, plays. The Thoroughblade wasn't able to go for the Exceed 7 2 to, um, you know, I, I believe I reborn it with Laika. I, th I think that's the name. Um, so yeah, Dynamite uh, Fighter does have the extra surge here, Trident is going to force out, yeah, that's a problem, right, the Veilings, the Veilings will just get banished if I use Trident, and now I don't have any follow-up plays ready, no pops ready, and right, that was the case, his uh, Fighter is not able to trigger since um, Desires banish my trap cards, my true Draco traps, so that's a problem, and um, yeah, his field is just too strong. Uh, from all these duels, I felt that, and that's also one of the reasons why I personally prefer, I guess, or running just a flat-out uh, masterpiece through Draco without any of the other two Draco monsters, or maybe one. Um, doesn't really matter, right? Maybe Ignis Heat to surge the spell, but uh, I, I wanted to drop Masterpiece more, as you'll see, or will be seeing in, in the other games as well, is that Masterpiece doesn't really, um, at least doesn't really get dropped to the field, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I have to draw it right, and that have to search it at the appropriate time. The standard, uh, well, yeah, Zodiac combo, I guess, having a barrage as well. Oh, so crazy. Going for Thorough Blade, also giving me the extra monsters on the field and the potential extra draw. Drawing into hand traps, right? Uh, ah, this is terrible. Drawing into triple heritage. That's kind of a bummer, especially because of those three extra draws. Two of Desires and one of Thorough Blade. Going for Dweller, Dweller Dryden should be strong, should be okay, but uh, yeah, outside of that, no real um, interruptions, and that can definitely be a problem. So Foxy is normal summoned, getting something to the hand here, failings is fine. Yeah, there is of course the, um, uh, what is it called, uh, you know which one I mean, you know, send something to the graveyard, Gazelle. Uh, that, okay, I, I do chain the Apocalypse here to get rid of the field spell, but... 
okay, to prevent this plays, I guess, no follow up play prevents uh, him to go for the link to link summon. Of course, there is, of course, a rage. Uh, it's fine. Barrage will just attach itself to um, Zodiac Dryland and keep indeed giving it a potential extra prop. And Thoroughblade will give me the extra draw. Um, although, yeah, it does reveal the face down. Uh, what is it called? Roar, I believe the name is. It, well, yeah, it's not going to matter, right? Laika. I believe the name is Lycoris. Laika. No, it's not Lycoris, right? You know which one I mean. Detach a special summon a Zodiac from the graveyard. Gives you the opportunity, the opportunity to go for the double Dryland combo. Um, such ridiculous, right? The Zodiac engine almost at their prime. Um, the fusion sub video is also coming, by the way. Or at least I have uh, some plans, but um, the matchup, which deck should take on fusion sub Zoo. Um, so again, like yeah, like always, feel free to leave like suggestions of which decks you want to see here in these cross, um, yeah, master tools. Anyway, last example. Oh, this was so delicious. You know, using true Draco diagram of popping your in hand Bababoon. Bababoon gives you the extra draws, I guess, sending back like a dead card in your hand back to the bottom of your deck, and it opens up the X Saber and Volker play. Maybe forcing out a hand trap or a hand trap from your opponent, and then you can just go for your Zodiac shenanigans. So eventually going to enter finally. Yeah, indeed. Finally the masterpiece and of course the trident as well. And yeah, indeed, reborning something from the graveyard, getting Ignis Heat on my side of the field as well, and going for Trident. No sets though, but I have two possible interruptions here with Trident and a masterpiece. And Ignis will search something and the Viper in hand. Viper attaching something and then it will banish something from your opponent. Very solid against something like Selmingland. So there is Gazelle, but not really sure if he does have any options, right? I'm just going to pop the um, Mirage Telio indeed. Okay, he can go for a couple of exceeds, a couple of links, right? But uh, it's not going to matter, okay? The the sunlight will be skewed. Okay, set four can be a problem though, but I can already pop one with masterpiece, pop the second one with uh, heritage as well, and potentially the other two uh, Draco continuous spell can pop something. So that's two Dracos, right? You can just pick away um, your opponent's uh, sets or your opponent's back rows. And now I think I should be able to attack for game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> The, the broad will surge gets negated, but this is Zodiac people. I can just overlay for other extra deck monsters and gain some pluses out of that. So I think this was a good match going, uh, well, going back and forth, I guess, between both these decks. But I feel the Zodiac, aka Masterpiece Shenanigans deck was, um, well, I'm not really sure, right? We have um, Ash Blossom on one uh, hand and Nexi, although it's only one Nexi I see now on the, on the other hand. So... Um, anyway, good match. Again, if you have any suggestions for these kind of duels or these kind of videos, feel free to leave them down below. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. We can signing out. Peace.